my name is uh, Dr Becky Peacock and I am the project supervisor on the Canadian Pacific project. So the Midhance Railway is a heritage steam railway that has been running from 1977. We run across 10 miles of railway from Alsford to Alton. So we've been open just over 40 years, uh, quite a big achievement for us. Well, hello, I'm David. I volunteer here on the railway. I've been volunteering for about two and a half years now initially doing tours around the, the shed and the, the boiler shop and these areas that are normally shut to people but now I actually work in the boiler shop as well. Well the boiler is a very key part of the locomotive it's where the power is supplied and is applied in the cylinders so the boiler is the, really the heart we tend to think of it the heart of the um, locomotive. I'm Andrew, um, I am an apprentice here restoring boilers at Rockley. What we do here is, is basically uh, cut out uh, corroded plate work or pitted plate, uh, plate work and, and make them as good as new basically. So, um, The skills you have to have for being an apprentice is just basically willingness and then they obviously will teach you on the job the sort of roles and stuff that you've got to do here basically. So. Um, I've learned how to remove stays out of the boiler behind you, um, fit plate work, um, refit all the boiler components, that sort of thing. So, yeah. Well, the main problems of the boiler are caused by the fact we're boiling dirty water and it's in a very hot environment inside the firebox and cool outside on the outside of the boiler. We've got a very hot fire inside and that is softening the material of the boiler. It's also abrading the, uh, because the coal has dust and all sorts of dirty things in it and that then acts as an abrasive and that scours the inside of the firebox and also the, the tubes. Boilers need to be repaired at a major event every 10 years. The process of restoration of a boiler is first off we need to actually take the boiler off the locomotive frame. So that actually means dismantling the entire locomotive to get that boiler off. By that point we then have to lift the boiler off of the frame, then gets wheeled into the boiler shop. At that point we can make an assessment of the boiler as to what uh, type of restoration it needs or how much work it will need in total. What we have to do is a series of non-destructive testing requirements and so that could be anything from ultrasound um, to various other different techniques and that non-destructive testing allows us to see what is happening inside the boiler itself and that will give us a clear indication without taking the boiler apart hopefully what's going on and highlight the areas that need to be worked on. After that we can have a plan of action and so what we know is that we will have to clean the entirety of the boiler, that's through needle gunning and then painting it before it re-rusts again. We know that we will probably have to, to do some work to the firebox or inner firebox of most of the locomotives, uh, locomotive boilers that we take off. We then have to work on the smoke box as well. Uh, all of the tubings, such as the superheater elements and the boiler tubes themselves have to have been removed and we have to restore these as well to working condition. Now that could be cleaning them and just restoring them or actually making brand new uh, boiler tubes to go back in. And then it's a process once we've started to really attack each part of the boiler to start putting it back together.